found the outskirt of the stable, but I saw this man walking over here, so I wanted to very quickly come down here and talk to him on the other side of those rocky mountains to the east are the ancient Colosseum ruins. It's a fell place teeming with monsters. Only scavengers hunting for weapons dare to go near the ruins. Say, on an entirely different topic, I've recently begun selling adventuring gear as I travel. Doing work as a watchman certainly fills my soul, but not my pockets. Okay. Um, we have got some gems for him. Selling gems is easily the most profitable thing you can do in this game. You can make so much money from it. It, uh... <laughs> it appears we didn't actually have... Oh, nope, we have some amber over here as well. We definitely could have had better stuff, but we had a decent amount of ore. So now that we have actual money... Oh, man. Okay. I'll do it. I didn't actually want to do it, but I'll do it. these as well. They, uh, they might come in handy at a later date. And we can always just find more gems. I honestly expected him to have actual, like, weapons, maybe a shield. But, uh, I was sorely mistaken. You're finally here. Oh my god, she has no nose. Oh no, just a, a very tiny nose. But she looks like Voldemort. <laughs> so it was true. I met the hero of Hyrule under this sacred tree. Uh, what? So, uh, you're not the hero of legend. I was so sure, but now that you mention it, you're way too scrawny to be the hero, and you don't have the legendary sword. If you happen to meet the hero who wields the legendary sword during your travels, tell him I'm waiting for him here. Side quest, my hero. Oh, actually, kinda... It's always good to keep a Korok leaf on you, so I'll just chuck that sword to be lost forever. Amaranth. Armoranth. Armor. <laughs> armor makes way more sense since it increases your armor. This tough medicinal plant cannot be broken, but it can be cooked. Its durable yet flexible fibers raise your defense when cooked into a dish. <sighs> yeah, I, I think that I really need to use buffs and debuffs in this playthrough. Oh, hello, Trot. What a name for a horse stable worker. Hey, w welcome. You sound tired. Is it that obvious? <laughs> I am into horses, so I got a job with the Stable Association, which is great and all, but they dispatched me here in the middle of nowhere, which I can handle, but they have me working around the clock. I feel so hazy all the time. That definitely sounds rough. If only 
Normally I could eat some meat for energy, but the staple meals are vegetarian for the most part. Ah, uh, what I wouldn't poop. Ah, uh, what I wouldn't do for some fresh car raw gourmet meat. Dude, me too. Like what? All I have is this puny raw meat steak. Oh, that's cool. That looks like a, an actual recipe. It is an egg, a bottle of milk, a honeycomb, a piece of wheat, and... sugar cane, maybe. And then it, it looks like it bakes into a pie. Mighty. Veggies are good for you, and they're very yummy. So, uh, here we have a beetle, and you see beetle has an obsession with beetles. The name is beetle, but you can call me, actually, let's just stick with beetle. But even if you forget my face, you can remember me by my beetle-shaped backpack. I never noticed that before. That is funny. Despite these dangerous times, you'll find me traveling all over Hyrule to fulfill your shopping needs. I stock many special bugs and must-have items for travelers, and I always charge a fair price or my name's not Beetle. Well, seemingly, your name isn't Beetle. I also buy all sorts of things if you're in need of rubies. Gemstones in particular fetch a high price. How can I help you today? Uh, it doesn't look like he wants this beetle. Beetle. Maybe if I leave and talk to him again, he might want it. Um, let's see what he has, though. Ooh, bugs and arrows. I'll take arrows. Yeah. I have 93. Wow. 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 That is really high, actually. I didn't expect to actually have that many. Um, and then I'm gonna talk to him, and then this is the typical introduction. Wow. I have a bladed rhino beetle, a mighty elixir short. That sounds like it'll do the exact same thing that that beetle would do. <laughs> Yahoo! Beetle is so excited. <laughs> You're such a sweetheart. I'll add this bad boy to my beetle collection. Yay. And back to business. I, uh, I'm done with you for now. And this is the... The front deskman, I guess. You could call him Embry. Welcome. Will you be staying with us? a regular bed for 20 rupees and a soft bed for 40. Huh? The soft bed is a special bed we're proud to offer here at the stable. Costs more than a regular bed, but you'll wake up more energized. Now I'm okay. Huh? I am going to... <laughs> so full. So sweepy. Okay. So it might be a good idea to just come back during the day. A traveler. Tell me, have you seen a pure white horse anywhere? A long time back, my grandfather told me that he once saw the royal family's white horse grazing on a Saffula, Saffula Hill. 
the thing is, just the other day, one of one of our customers said he saw a white horse on Sapula Hill recently. Could it be a relative of the royal family's white horse for my grandfather's day? Well, if you happen to see a white horse on your travels, do you think you could bring it back to me? You kind of man. Thank you. If you see the white horse, please register it at a stable and bring it to me. White horse on Sapula Hill. Which is actually very close to where we are headed. Um, I think this well is related to uh, a thing, a Korok seed. So just be very difficult to catch and to hit. some raw prime meat, a fresh high quality piece of animal meat. This stuff isn't easy to come by so savor it, cook it to recover more hearts. So it is basically just a better raw meat. Um, I'm lost. Puzzles. You stand on the platform next to the pinwheel, and then you have to do a Korok seed uh, thingy. Typically with the pinwheels, it involves shooting uh, these little balloon targets. that. Leave that there. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme, gimme. Or not. Before we leave, I really, really, really want to do double check that well and to make sure that I'm not actually leaving behind a Korok seed because they are actually very important in this game to adventure comfortably. Ooh, this might be, this might be bad. It might have been better to go on that side. Looks like it has more for some reason. In all of the hours I've spent playing this game, I don't think I've ever actually found a use for the acorns. runs like the wind. It's a daily tradition for this horse and me to ride to the horse stable statue over at the Sanadin Park Ruins. You do you do it. And go. Well. Now we know. Now we know that there is nothing to 
do at that well. I don't I don't see anything magnetic either. Aside from that. if I can one-shot it. The answer is I can't even shoot it. Ooh, a river. Definitely gonna want to cross at a bridge. <laughs> Tiny squirrel. There's a fox, and that fox is gonna alert those birds, I bet. see a bird nest, or is that just a bird? <laughs> that is just a bird. Oh, there were more bird. I am gonna get that one. Now. Yoink. Oh man, we are gonna get so
see him over there with a bridge leading up to it. Oh, that island right there. That is a fun island that we might get to eventually. Um, so, where we are right now is actually... I forget the, the name of it. It's like Safula Hill. But this is the field where you can find the white horse. I don't remember the specifics of it as I've only done the side quest once. But I feel like you have to come at a certain time to find it. What's that? That looks cool. I want to go up to that. This mountain looks like it gets a lot of landslides. The dirt looks like it's been recently overturned all up and down the side of the mountain face. if that would take one hit or two. And I don't see that arrow anywhere. I wonder if arrows are not magnetic. Good to know. Good to know. Chickaloo tree nut. Small birds love this nut. You can eat it raw for a minor effect, but it can also be added as a spice to other recipes. I believe that is essentially how the acorn works as well. So many birds. 
fang. Oh. A sharp fang obtained from a moblin. It's too hard to be reshaped into a tool, but it can be tossed into a stew with some critters to create elixirs. And a moblin horn. This splendid horn once grew atop the head of a moblin. It can be used in normal food recipes, but it does have some use as an ingredient in making elixirs. And then we also got this club up here, which is actually a very good club. A dragon bone moblin club. The bone of an ancient beast has been affixed to this moblin club, further increasing its damage. Moblins carry these into in battle. Or, bah. I messed that all up. Moblins carrying these in battle are particularly dangerous. So, I hate to do it, but you know what? I can't actually throw this, so we're just gonna drop it. And then I am going to pick up some flint and some luminous stone. This mysterious mineral gives off a pale blue glow in the dark, which some believe to be souls of the dead. Apparently this stone can be used as a base to make special clothes. True. I personally view luminous stone as the easiest way to make money. Because it is very abundant and typically you will get at least one if you break a luminous stone deposit. So really all you have to do is learn where they spawn and then ow. Okay. We're going to follow go in, go in, go in. Okay, no no. We're going to follow this one, because there's no way it's actually, it actually might have, that might have gone in, but better safe than sorry. Actually going to make sure this one makes it in. Yeah. Yeah. episode, maybe the next one, or maybe we just completely forget about it and never go there. You never know in Breath of the Wild. Bushes. Birds. We should be getting close to where that shrine was. This is a Hinox. We are going to leave a bow. I'm gonna save. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Is down, Nox. Stop, stop, stop.
that is why. Continue. You know what? This actually isn't worth it. I can't even properly hold all of the weapons that it's going to drop. Bad luck. That's bad luck. As a medicinal plant, this carrot contains large amounts of nourishing energy. When cooked into a dish, it boosts your stamina, stamina beyond its maximum limit, which can obviously be very, very handy in this game. I'm okay. I don't need to go after the other monster bits that fell and here is Mong Latan Shrine and inside we have updrafts when fire spreads it creates an updraft which you can use the paraglider to soar into the air with about this one because I don't feel comfortable with the way this game controls anymore. For some reason, I whistled for my horse. I wonder if I can... Nope. Well, okay. I will just actually... see if I can do this without having to waste arrows. It's not like I'm going to miss two arrows, but I am curious. It doesn't appear as though it wants to work. So, I don't think it's possible. So then we will just pop and pop. And move onwards. Oh, there are... I think there's actually three chests in this one. A forest dweller spear. I expect it'll actually last longer as well as do more damage, but it still just feels bad wasting a weapon.
That's not what I wanted. I give up on this one. And now all of that is going to go up in flames. And then we can use our, oh, it goes in. <laughs> we can use our magnesis to push it in and open the door. Resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. Thank you very much. I will take that and I will be on my way. Because this shrine actually wasn't our goal. This just happens to be an important part in getting to our goal. We still have one more destination that we are always raining. Oh dear. Nope. There we go. Pick that up. And there's a crock. Thank you very much. like 
this one. This one looks really creepy. Oh, that was cool. Now you can see through the pass in the mountain from this angle. That, that's cool. I like that. one of my favorite places in this game. What's that? Oh, Silent Princess. Is that Silent Prince? Let's find out. Silent Princess. This lovely flower was said to have been a favorite of the Princess of Hyrule. Once feared to have gone extinct, it's recently been spotted growing in the wild. Which is fair. It is a pretty rare find if you don't like know exactly where to go to find it. Is there? Nope. There might be something to do with that though. Oh, nope. I want this. Rock salt. Crystallized salt from an ancient sea, commonly used to season meals, cannot be eaten in this form. Oh, you mean I can't just eat a piece of rock? A piece of rock salt. How dare they limit this amazing gameplay like that? Um, 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 um. Okay, so we're gonna head over this way. Do, 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 do. Hey, bird. Oh, that's just a, a bush. We're gonna go in here. And find with another forest dweller spear. Yeah, I don't, I don't really need that one. But this is our destination. Uh, wrong button. I'm gonna go here and I'm going to put a star right there because this is an apple orchard. There are so many apple trees in here. And the first one I break down isn't an apple tree. Nice. So what we are going to do here for a minute is just chop down apple trees and collect some apples. because we are really in a desperate need of healing items. Gimme. No apple will escape me today. A farming hoe. A farming tool primarily used for tilling fields. Its fine craftsmanship is sturdy enough to withstand back-breaking field work but its battle applications are untested. It's actually a lot of damage. 16 damage. Oh, and we have this, a hearty truffle. This rare mushroom has a rich scent. Cook it before eating to temporarily increase your maximum hearts. That can definitely be very handy to have on hand. Actually, you know what? Let me... Let me just take care of all of these logs here. Because we could do with some firewood as well. I don't like using bombs to blow up the trees. 
trees that have apples because they tend to be very finicky as to whether they land or they just explode out. So I prefer to just chop. 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 Ooh, that was a lot. It feels like we're playing Valheim. switch to pure bombing then until until we get one bad apple there is another uh, woodcutter's axe in here somewhere I don't remember where exactly but I do know that there is another, as well as a pitchfork, and, oh, there it is, okay, so I think, that was an annoyingly abundant tree to have right next to a cliff. is badly damaged. Okay, now that we are at this point, I think it's safe. Ooh, I take it back and I can take it, but stop. Break. One, two, 
from over there, I think. I think I saw a flash of lightning. this mountain. Pop. I really don't see anything else that we have to do here at the moment. Is this perchance a golem? It really looks like one.
is that? That's the same guy. Patrick. Okay. So, feel free to leave a like if you liked what you saw slash heard. Or subscribe if you want to watch more of my content or be notified when I upload. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.